What's up guys? I'm on my way to the gym now. Today I'm going to be training triceps, back, and shoulders. For my pre-workout snack, I'm going to have some of these pink gummies. Uh, it's basically like a trolley gummy candy. Pretty good. I'm trying out eating just straight carbs before my workout. I'm going to show you guys how to track these and a bunch of other foods when I get back to the house, but let's get the workout in. you guys how to track your macros but first I think we should talk about if you should track your macros or not depending on how much weight you have to lose you might not have to start tracking your macros right away you might be able to just clean up your diet a little bit cut back on the soda snacks chips candy things like that and you should be able to lose weight just by eating like a bit healthier uh, fruits vegetables high protein sources you should be able to lose body fat as you get leaner and leaner eventually you're gonna have to start tracking eventually I'm at the point where I probably need to use a food scale. These are pretty cheap. You can pick them up um, at Amazon here in Georgia. You can buy them like at an electronics store. Uh, it's about like 30 or 40 lari. Um, in the US, they're probably like 20 to $30. Um, they last a long time though. I always make sure to get one that uses double or triple A batteries. This one, it was the only one I could find. It uses like a C2032 battery. They're like the tiny ones. They're kind of hard to find. Um, so if you can pick one up with AA batteries or AAA batteries, it's a lot better. For tracking your macros, you're going to want to download an app. When I was in the United States, I like to use MyFitnessPal. It's pretty user-friendly and the database was huge, so you could pretty much scan any food and it would pop up. Like anything in a package, you could just scan the barcode and it would pop up an app and you just plug in how much you ate of that. Unfortunately, a lot of the features now are all included in the premium version which the premium version costs $19 a month or $80 a year. It makes it a lot easier. I have my own app that I use that for my coaching clients, um, so I just use that. Um, the database isn't as big as my fitness pal. I was gonna show you guys how to scan these pink gummies. Um, these are the candy that I ate before my workout. When I click to scan a barcode, I have to sign up for premium. So if you had a premium, you could just scan this and it would pop up pink gummies. Since I don't have the premium, what we're going to do is just go add a food and type in pin gummy trolley and it should pop up in the database. Yep, there we go. So 100 grams is a whole bag. So it's, let's see, that would be 4 grams of protein, 78 grams of carbs, and basically zero fat. So I'm going to add that to my log. So now that you, right now, guys, I added in my food from earlier, and I had some matsoni, some toast with peanut butter, jam. Um, I had a dark chocolate wafer bar, um, a protein bar, ricotta. I do have a bit of a sweet tooth, which is why I don't really follow a meal plan. I just like to track my macros and kind of eat what I want as I go throughout the day. Um, in order to see like what my totals are at for the day, I'll just click right here on the food. And you can see I'm at 70 grams of protein, 39 grams of fat, and 243 grams of carbs. So my daily goal is 200 grams of protein, uh, about 60, 65 grams of fat, and 250 grams of carbs. Keep in mind those are my macros. Your macros are going to be different. In the last video, I explained how to calculate your own macros to get shredded. So after this video, go check that one out. I'll put a link right there. These little penguin gummies are my favorite. I could use that to care for. It's a nice little, like, a couple of little tiny penguins. They're cute. They taste good. I usually eat those before my workout or during. It just gives me a nice little boost of energy. When I was actually in high school, it was my dream to have a pet penguin one day. So maybe one day I will. Um, or just like a koala that like hangs onto my arm all day. But now I'm going to show you guys. So this is my dinner for tonight. I got some chicken breast and some zucchini. So what I need to do is figure out how much chicken I have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zero out my scale. So I click the tear button here. That's gonna zero out the scale. And so basically whatever I take off from the plate, it'll show me the number in a negative number. And that'll tell me how much chicken I have. So what I'm gonna do is just take the chicken breast off the plate. So we have 203 grams of chicken breast. 
or if I hadn't put it on the plate yet, I would just zero this out and whatever I put onto the plate will be shown. So we have 203 grams of chicken breast. Now we got to enter that into our phone, into my fitness pal. So what I'm going to do is go to dinner. I'm going to add, click add food. I'm going to type in chicken breast. So I already have it in here, but there's going to be cooked. So you need to specify because when, before the chicken's cooked, it's going to hold water. So any food that's raw, you want to make sure that you're, you're tracking it as raw. Any food that's cooked, you want to make sure you specify cooked. Like for example, ground beef, a lot of the water is going to cook out. So if you weigh it raw, but then enter in the number cooked, it's going to be different. So I got cooked chicken breast. I had 203 grams. I'm going to type that in and then click the check mark. It's going to add it to my food log. So now I'll be able to go back and see now I'm at 133 grams of protein. I'm at 46 grams of fat, 243 carbs. So the zucchini and the peppers, I'm actually not going to track. I'm just going to estimate that at about 10 grams of carbs or so. What I'm going to do is actually just click add food. I'm going to type in carbs and it's going to have carbs. So basically whatever you put in grams is about how many grams of carbs you have. So I'm going to type in 10 and click the check mark and that's going to add 10 grams of carbs. Basically, I'm just estimating. Like if you wanted, you could weigh out the zucchini and the peppers, but they're pretty low calorie anyway, so I don't bother. Don't forget who you are. Don't lose your head or your heart. I'll bet my life on your stars. You'll be dancing, dancing on the moon. I'll bet my life you'll be dancing on the moon. To end the day, guys, I got six egg whites right here. I'm going to have one of these Serek Wiege keys. This is like cottage cheese from Poland. It's got 22 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat, and like four carb, super solid macros. And then I'm also gonna have one of these Profil protein snacks, mango and vanilla, 18 grams of protein. As you can see right there, the protein macro is by far the hardest to hit. I ended up getting probably about 130 grams of protein after about like seven or eight o'clock at night, which isn't like the most optimal, like ideally you wanna spread that out throughout the day, but I did hit my goal and that's the most important thing. If you guys are just starting out learning how to track macros, I would recommend going to the store and just looking at the nutrition labels on the foods that you eat and just seeing how much calories are in each food, how much protein is in each food. That way you have an idea of kind of what you're wasting your calories on. I hope that video was helpful, guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll answer them. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm in the middle of doing a 12-week shred. I've got about 55 more days to go, so things are going to start getting more and more serious. I'm going to show you guys my workouts and all the things that I'm doing. But thank you for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.